All right. So first of all, today is Saturday, November 5th. And you can tell this is a very impromptu video because my lighting, these angles is just not, it's not very me. But I had some thoughts I just want to share really quick. The different seasons and processes that you have to go through in life, get through them. Because there are things that I have walked through and I'm walking through and it's very easy to be annoyed and frustrated and discouraged and, you know, have a negative view of them. But instead, like switching and trying to see the good and actually learn what it is that God's showing me and being patient and being obedient through it has helped me to be in a place where I can just see it differently and where I'm learning and it's hard to learn if you are so caught up in like how you feel about it. It's hard to really get the lessons that are being taught to you. I'm still like learning and growing and moving to that place more fully, but it's a release, right? I had a chance to just talk to a friend and just share some of what I've been learning. And it was so good. And I mean, it just made my heart so glad. One thing I was thinking about is not only am I grateful to be in a place where I've allowed God to shift my perspective, but I'm also able to just love on the people in my life better. One thing I'm realizing about myself and moving into a place where I can confidently say is that I just love to love people well. It is the desire of my heart to love people well, to see them just man to see them flourish to see them come into a place where they know they are loved they know they are valued they know they're appreciated they know they matter like how loving people just excites me and energizes me and it makes me grateful that people entrust their life to me they invite me in they invite me to be around to be a listening ear or to offer encouragement or support and that means a lot to me. I don't take that for granted because it can seem like it's just so much easier to keep your circle so small and to be closed off and to feel like you've got to figure out stuff on your own. But I just think it's such a high honor when people invite me in and share life with me. And I think, I don't know, I'm just grateful to God for him allowing me to know people who who I, you know, I just get the privilege of loving. It is an honor for me to love the people in my life. It really is. And I'm grateful because I would not be in this state. I wouldn't be in this city. I wouldn't have these relationships if I hadn't surrendered to where God was leading me. Like this was not my plan. This is not my, my, my chosen path. But um, man, I'm learning a lot about obedience and about doing the uncomfortable things and long suffering and not quitting. And I love when God shows us us and I love when he lets us experience being alive and being excited about this life you know he's already given us this tangible life right like breath in my lungs the ability to live another day my heart's beating like he's given me those things but then in those moments in those days where we can like really live and really just have passion and be excited about things I'm just really grateful to God I'm grateful that he he woke me up this morning, right? But he did so much more than that. Anyway, I'm grateful to God and I'm grateful for the people in my life who let me do life with them. It is an honor to do life with you guys and I'm grateful and I love you. Yeah. Good night, y'all.